Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to each and every one of you to the World Teacher's Quiz Know It All. Before we move any further into the second edition of this fantastic initiative from the teachertribe.world, it is our pleasure and privilege to introduce to you our host, a passionate knowledge show host, writer, author, poet. She's the co-founder and senior editor of the teachertribe.world. She is also the only professional woman quiz host across Asia. With over 300 shows across 50 destinations of India and overseas, she enjoys a huge fan following now with students and teachers. From being a co-host of the Tata Crucible to several other corporate shows, the teacher's quiz is something that is very close to her and she's passionate about. She was rated by Business World as a 40 under 40 for content creators a year ago and was also conferred the iconic woman creating a better world for all award by the Women Economic Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, here to grill you all, please welcome one and only Rashmi Futado. <laughs> gentlemen welcome to the second edition of the world teachers quiz know it all after successfully completing the first edition of the world teachers quiz the teacher tribe along with CLLE TCS ION and ICSL is back with the second edition of the quiz and with your blessings we hope to make this an annual event I'm sure all of you have followed the quarterfinals so far. We have had eight quarterfinals and now we are getting into the first semi-final of this quiz. Let me first introduce our semi-finalists to you and then get cracking with the game. First up, we have Mrs. Sanjeev Kumar from Sunbeam School, Varanasi. Following him is Aditya Chaudhary from Sunbeam School, Varanasi again. <music> Following him is Tapasya Banerjee from Manav Sthali School. <music> She's joining us from Delhi and completing the lineup here today is Vikyat from ETBT School, Nellore. So we have teachers from different regions of our country taking part in this semi-final. Let me get into the rules of the game. All the questions here today will be on the buzzer. Single attempt per question only. The scoring pattern is plus 50, minus 50. Only the winner from this semi-final will move to the world final. So we are now very close to the world final trying to identify the finalists going into that big finale that is coming up in a couple of days. Every question will stay valid for about five to seven seconds and if none of them press the buzzer in those five to seven seconds, we will move on to the next question. The remaining rules have been explained to them. So let's start with the quiz. The first round of the quiz, here we go. This entire quiz has been about unlocking the mind and looking at things around you with a new perspective. So the first round of the quiz is unlock the mind. I have visuals for you that will appear on the screen. I have corresponding questions that will go along with the visuals. However, it's up to you if you want to wait for me to read out the question or if you think you know the answer and you're confident enough, you're free to press the buzzer. But once you press the buzzer, I will not be completing the question. Good luck to all of you. Plus 50, minus 50, the scoring pattern. And this time it is battle because only one slot is available from one of you 
into that world final. So good luck to all of you. Let's start question number one on your screen now. What drink is named after this legend? We have tapasya on the buzzer. Go ahead, tapasya. Virgin Mary. I said, what drink is named after her? Virgin Mojito. Oh, taking a negative on that is tapasya. The answer I was looking for is Bloody Mary. There is a history behind this particular queen. She actually was a little cruel according to the historic records and that is why the drink is named after her as Bloody Mary. Taking a negative on that is Tapasya. Let's move on. Question number two. Here we go. What innovation was this? We have Aditya on the buzzer. Go ahead, sir. This is a Google Doodle. Something more. Why would I randomly put a Google Doodle on your screen? There's something this, special this, about this. The Google, first they had the logo and then with this, the uh, Air Man. Basically, they started off with the Google Doodle series completely. With this particular Google Doodle is when they started off the Doodle series. Plus 50 to you, absolutely right. Getting a 50 on that is Mr. Aditya. Doing well for himself. Moving on, question number three. Here we go. What is this? <laughs> Aditya, again, go ahead. Um, this is during the pandemics uh, because the doctors and nurses were in the um, were um, obviously in the zone of getting infected. So we had robo nurses looking after the patients. Wonderful. He gets a plus 50 on that again. Robo nurses. These were used as frontline people who would go and take care of the patients as much as possible where human contact could be avoided. Robo nurses giving him another plus 50. Moving on, question number four on your screen. Identify this personality from her early years, Mr. Sanjeev. Go ahead. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris giving him a plus 50. This is a picture of Kamala Harris from when she was a little kid. I thought this would be a fun question to add. Connecting to what is out there in the world today is one of the pictures of Kamala Harris from when she was young. Plus 50 on that. Moving on. Question number 5 on your screen now. Who patented? I only said who patented. Go ahead, Aditya. This is Michael Jackson, the anti-gravity shoes he used for his moonwalk. Dear, uh, dear viewers, I know it looks like I have outsourced my entire research to Mr. Aditya, but that's not the case. He's doing very well for himself, plus 50. Absolutely right. These are the anti-gravity shoes patented by Michael Jackson and used for his moonwalk. Plus 50 on that. The last question of this round on your screen. Now, what is this? Go ahead, sir. Aditya on the buzzer again. Uh, these are uh, three-dimensional, 3D printer uh, aided uh, bone transplantation. 3D printed bone or knee re replacements plus 50. Absolutely right. He is doing very well for himself. Let me quickly tell you where our contestants stand before we move into the second round of the quiz. Aditya on 200 points already. We have Sanjeev trying to chase him with the 50 points. Tapasya took a negative early on. She took a minus 50. But there's a long way to go. She can very easily neutralize that negative and move into the positives. L moving on to the second round of this quiz. Setting the pace. Here we go. Usually even in a race after the first lap, the athletes kind of build a pace. So now it's time for us to set a pace into the quiz. Question number one, all visuals again, scoring patterns also remain the same. Question one on your screens. Now, connect all of them. Aditya on the buzzer. Go ahead. This is all written by Roald Dahl. All written by Roald Dahl, plus 50, absolutely right. 
these are actually the books written by Roald Dahl which were later made into movies. Getting a plus 50 on that is Aditya. Let's now move on to question 2. Here we go. These are macquariums. What are they? Yes, Aditya on the buzzer again. Go ahead. Um, uh, Mac computers earlier they were very heavy. So when they went out of use, so people started converting them into aquariums and selling it into the market. So macquarium. Plus 50 on that. He got macquariums right. A new way of having sustainability in what you do is reusing what you already have. Macquariums for you. And Aditya gets a plus 50 on that. Moving on. Question number three on your screen now. Coined by its Scottish inventor, David Brewster, this instrument means beautiful form. Sanjeev, go ahead. Kaleidoscope. Absolutely right. He gets a plus 50 on that. Kaleidoscope is the right answer. This is something we would have actually uh, created ourselves in our respective schools as well. Because I remember I created one of my own when I was a student. So we try to include questions which teachers would be able to relate to. Plus 50 on that to Sanjeev. Moving on, question number 4 on your screen now. Pramod Karan Sethi is credited with Tapasya. Go ahead. Jaipal foot, Jaipal feet. Not allowing me to complete the question. She said Jaipur foot or feet plus 50. She's absolutely right. She quickly negates that minus 50 she had taken earlier. All she needs to do now is build up into the positives. Plus 50 on that. Moving on. Question number 5 on your screen now. This is a painting in oils. Tapasya again. Go ahead. Uh, now... The uh, painter's name is, I guess, Leonardo da Vinci. The painting is of grandmother or something. All right. Sometimes you have to take the risk, but it doesn't always pay off. Taking yeah. a negative on that is Tapasya. Yeah. The painter's name actually is James McNeil Whistler. And the name of the painting is Whistler's Mother. If you all actually remember, this painting showcased... I think in one of the Mr. Bean movies also, if you can recall, this name of the painting is Whistler's Mother. Moving on, question number six. Here we go. It was a practice from the ancient... Aditya, go ahead. I just said it was a practice from the ancient. Go ahead. Um, in in uh, probably ancient Sweden, if I'm not mistaken, like we have barns, they had on the roof uh, bread displayed to show how rich they were. Bread was shown to display how rich they are and how wealthy they are. Wow, he gets a plus 50 again. I have to tell you the scores. He's already on 350 points. Sanjeev uh, inching closer to him. He's on 100. Tapasya again took a negative, but I think she'll be able to cover it up soon. Vikhyad as of now has still not opened his account, but he's a good quizzer for all you know. He'll be all guns blazing in the next two rounds. Let's move on to the third round of this quiz, saluting the educators. Here we go. As the title of this round suggests, this round is all about educators or education. Let me... Uh, before we move on to the question, let me tell you how the question will appear. You will of course have a visual on your screen. Along with the visual, I'll have a question. But in this particular round, you'll also have blocks representing the number of letters in the answer. So that is a clue for you to figure out what the actual answer is. Good luck to all of you. Question number one in this round, saluting the educators. Here we go. Identify the author. Teach yourself to think. Aditya on the buzzer, go ahead. Um, Edward De Bono. Edward De Bono giving him a plus 50 again. And with that, he climbs to a 400 points. Moving on, question number two on your screens now. He is a Swiss psychologist 
known for his work on child development. He developed a theory, Tapasya, go ahead. Go ahead, Tapasya. Jean Paget. Could you spell that for me? Jean is okay. Could you spell uh, the, the part? P I A G uh, P I A G E T. Plus 50. She's absolutely right. Jean Piaget or Jean Piaget is how some of them pronounce it. He is actually the person who developed the cognitive development theory. Absolutely right. Getting a plus 50 on that is Tapasya. Moving on to the third question of this round. Here we go. Identify him. Oh, go ahead, Aditya, on the buzzer. Malcolm Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell giving him a minus 50 on this. I think the catch here was that I put a picture of his youth rather than putting a picture this that we're probably more familiar with. Howard Gardner. Howard Gardner. Howard Gardner would have given you a 50, but Malcolm Gladwell now gives you a minus 50. In any case, you're still leading the quiz with the 350 points. So with that, he gets a minus 50. Moving on to the last question of this round on your screen now. Identify the famous school. Aditya, go ahead. Hogwarts. Hogwarts. He's updated with all the books that the kids read too. Absolutely right. Plus 50 on that. I couldn't leave Hogwarts out. It could be fantasy, but it is still a school or a university. Gets a plus 50 on that. Let's quickly take a look at the scores. We have Aditya on 400 points. He's leading the quiz. Sanjeev on 100. Tapasya has been, her scoring pattern has been like a sine cos curve, but she's still on nil and it's still possible for her to move into the positives. Vikhyat is yet to score. Let's move on to the last round of this quiz, the last lap. Here we go. All right, teachers, this particular round, this, there would be nothing that will appear on your screen. You would have to listen to what I have to ask or what I have to say. The scoring pattern remains the same. Four questions, the last four questions of this quiz is what this round will contain. Plus 50, minus 50. Question number one of this round, here we go. A Walt Disney movie, it's based on a book by P. L. Travers. At the time of its release, it was, a Disney, it was Disney's highest grossing film. The movie shares its tapasya, go ahead. Uh, Mary Poppins. You got that with P.L. Travers and highest grossing films plus 50. Absolutely right. I would have gone ahead to say that in 1964, Julie Andrews played the main character and later on in 2018, Emily Blunt played the same character. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Mary Poppins. Moving on. The second question of this round. Here we go. Which company created a film production company called Red Envelope Entertainment in 2006? Vikyat on the buzzer. Go ahead, Vikyat. Uh, this is uh, Netflix. Netflix giving him a plus 50 is absolutely right. Netflix was the answer I was looking for. The penultimate question of this quiz. Here we go. Which bird was William Wordsworth asking? Shall I the tapasya go ahead? I just said shall I the go ahead. Cuckoo. Cuckoo plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. She gets a plus 50 on that. The last question of this quiz. Uh, before we get into the last question, I must tell you, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself in this first semi-final. I can't wait to get into the remaining semi-final. Let me tell you where our contestants stand before we conclude the quiz. We have Aditya leading with 400 points. We have Sanjeev and Tapasya both on 100 points each and Vikyat on 50 points. The last question of this quiz. Here we go. The flag of Uruguay and which other soccer crazy country feature 
the son of may on their national flag sanjeev go ahead sir argentina argentina giving him the last plus 50 i could give absolutely right plus 50 on that well ladies and gentlemen the results of this quiz mr aditya chaudhary from sunbeam has won this quiz and made it to the world finale with 400 points he has truly played very well today to his credit i mean i'm only looking forward to the final now i'm already getting a little excited on what the final will hold following him as runner up is mr sanjeev also from Sun, uh, sunbeam school varanasi he is the runner up of this quiz but as i mentioned earlier only the winner from the semi final will make it to the world final congratulations uh, aditya you have made it to the world finale thank you thank you <laughs> thank you ladies and gentlemen for, for watching this semi final one of world teachers quiz know it all but let me tell you there are three more semi finals coming up see you there